Yes, you read that correctly. Today, Infinity Ward put on their Call of Duty Next event, which, depending on when this video goes live, might still be going, where they're showing multiplayer and Warzone 2.0 gameplay. During this event, they were explaining everything that goes along with Warzone 2.0, of which is a brand new game mode that is tied into it called DMZ. DMZ, as described by the team at Infinity Ward, without going too in-depth, meaning there's still more to talk about. They mentioned that they weren't going to talk about everything. Will be a quote-unquote sand box mode where you can define your own win condition end quote meaning you decide what to do when you're there and when to leave it's played on the same map as warzone 2.0 but won't have a circle closing in on you it is a different mode and there will be powerful ai to fight along with players so this is a pvpve environment you quote unquote infiltrate the location you accomplish your goals and then you decide to extract when the time is right end quote the ai that you will find there are quote unquote lethal opponents. They do command your respect. You have to watch out for them. You have to work with your team. They patrol the areas, occupy strongholds, and reinforce areas based off player actions, end quote. Later, one of the devs specifically said, quote unquote, loot up, exfil. It's totally up to the player choice there, end quote. Then later they said it will be available on November 16th with the launch of Warzone 2.0, which is free. They did not talk about how the health system is going to work, but let's be realistic. This is Call of Duty. I don't see them doing much more than maybe a defibrillator at best you're likely just going to be able to stick a stim into somebody and then they're going to come back up whereas for normal damage you'll probably just need to be out of combat and then you will regenerate health to a certain point it's possible to add something like a med kit or something but again i don't see them getting too advanced it's still call of duty another thing that they didn't talk about was the inventory system which is very important for a game like this if we're going to see it as a potential competitor to a game like escape from tarkov which we will talk about that specifically in a second but what i wanted to basically say here is that dmz will will play a hell of a lot like Tarkov without even knowing every detail, and it will be free to play on November 16th, which is going to open up this sort of genre to a hell of a lot of people, and it is going to do it very soon. I absolutely will be covering what I think is worth covering for this, as I see it as a worthy AAA attempt at the extraction genre BSG have created with Escape from Tarkov. If you guys have caught my other videos where I've talked about this, then you know I would have actually called what's happening here. A AAA company looks for the big money, so they want to bring in millions and millions of players rather than trying to have a passion project and do something they were set out on doing like what BSG are doing with Escape from Tarkov. They want there to be a story. They want there to be an RPG aspect to this game. They want it to be very interesting in the details along with being realistic. Whereas at its core, the core gameplay still makes you worried about your life, worried about losing your gear and giving you that hit of dopamine when you do make it out alive and you have something shiny to bring with you. Like I said in those earlier videos, what a AAA company will likely do is really try to grab that core feeling of the gameplay and then put their own spin on it to try and open it up for as many people as possible. This DMZ game mode screams that. Given what we know right now, I see Call of Duty DMZ as a direct competitor to Escape from Tarkov when it comes to casual players. Now, as you go up the scale to more hardcore players, that drops off very quickly, but still at the end of that list, it's still somewhat a competitor. We can't deny that now. And for people that care about this stuff, I really don't think that's a problem. Tarkov was never intended for casual will play and arena will handle the gray area in between people like clean have been saying this since day one there's too much gameplay that is not in escape from tarkov that while bsg finish adding that gameplay we're going to shed players that aren't in it for the realism play it's going to be a very hardcore game at the end dmz is in no way a clone to escape from tarkov even if it does look like they made a pretty good attempt even when it comes down to the logo you can go and see the warzone and call of duty multiplayer footage for yourself it's still call of duty and it will be be loaded up with cosmetic items so you're gonna have very colorful cartoon characters sliding around corners every single game it won't even begin to touch the environment that you find in escape from tarkov let alone the gameplay and the story but for the probably millions of people out there that really just want the core gameplay it looks pretty damn appealing there's also one thing the devs did a very good job not giving specifics about almost as if it was planned and scripted this way your inventory and how that works the devs clearly reference loot as just loot and they refer to it in a way you you should think of it in Tarkov, but without giving specifics to what it actually does for you. There was no confirmation that you will have a finite amount of items and a place to gather and store those items, which branches out into the core of what Escape from Tarkov really is. That is gear fear. That is you worrying about making it out alive. That is you rushing to the extract to keep what you have. Again, that is that core gameplay. So far, what we've heard can easily mean the same kind of looting and loss of items you would get from any BR. In every BR ever, you start with nothing or very 
very close to nothing and you move around and loot the gear to fight whatever might be in the environment whether it be ai or players or both and you will lose that gear that you just looted on death so people can go as far as say lose your loot on death and you can think that that's something like escape from tarkov but in reality that's every br you lose your loot on death and you have to start over again what isn't known is if you can choose that loot at the beginning if you can have some kind of loadout or something also if there is a limit to the amount that you have and if you can accumulate more when you survive or win games if that is something that dmz does i would officially confirm it in my mind as a competitor to escape from tarkov and to be clear that's not just a casual competitor but actually a real competitor because even though they will still be very different it doesn't mean they share similarities nhl 2022 is a competitor to madden 2022 even though they are completely different games in practically every single way what really matters is how close something gets before you start to worry and dmz is still a call of duty mode but you can't deny there will be loads maybe even millions of people that will see the difficulty of escape from tarkov and contemplate whether they want to do that today or just go and simply have a bit of fun jumping into a game like dmz and sort of get the same kind of feeling if the inventory works like that if the inventory works like it does in escape from tarkov then that is just the reality of the situation at that point arena won't grant everyone's wishes i still feel like there's going to be some neckbeards that complain about this again this still can't be a clone they're not going to have the same story they're not going to have the same location it's not going to be as realistic there's going to be a lot of differences but at its core if that inventory works that way you will still get the same kind of feeling out of it at least for a short amount of time that's what we're talking about here last second edition of this video because as i was editing i looked back at the stream and there's some kind of new game mode i don't know if this is ground war or what but call of duty straight up looks like battlefield the gameplay that i'm looking at right now everything down to the map the vehicles the movement this looks like battlefield and i was going to save this piece for a different video because there is literally no information whatsoever on this but at the beginning of call of duty next there were some people that were talking about what we were going to see today and the guy straight up says for the first time ever in a call of duty there is going to be a raid and then very shortly after that for the first time ever we're going to release a raid in call of duty now we hadn't heard about dmz when he was talking about this but i remember thinking and actually saying at the time because i was live that the way he said that seemed weird because the way he described it was a raid which makes it sound like something like in a world of warcraft or even a destiny something like that and now we know it's actually separate from dmz because of the way he described it he said there's going to be the initial launch of call of duty then there's going to be warzone 2.0 which dmz is part of warzone 2.0 and then a short time after that the raid so we have this game mode dmz that plays a hell of a lot like escape from tarkov we have warzone which is one of if not the best br out there right now we have this whatever i'm looking at whether it's ground war or something i'm not actually sure that looks exactly like battlefield and we have whatever this raid is that might actually be run at something like a destiny if i didn't know any better i would say call of duty is out swinging for absolutely the entire first person shooter genre and that's not clickbait like look for yourselves this is insane but that's just what i personally think about this now i want to know what you guys think i'll link what i can from this event in the description if you want to see or hear it for yourself i'll be live on twitch right after this video is live so you can come by and discuss this or ask any questions you might have then if not you always have the comment section you can also follow me and ask me on twitter or join and ask me in discord links to those are below and that's all for now guys for the latest tarkov news you can check out these playlists here if you like this video then you know the drill please subscribe i really appreciate the people who do otherwise thanks for watching and i hope you have a nice day see you guys